Columbia River Revelstoke. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, ski resorts like uh, Kicking Horse, Revelstoke Mountain, Kimberly Alpine were all developed with the support of the people who lived in my area. They were broadly supported because they made sense. People in the Columbia Valley know what is best for their land. That's why they've rejected a number of the river diversion projects, development on the east side of Columbia Lake, and the development of Whitetail Lake. Local people have been absolutely clear that they do not support a resort in the Jumbo Valley. With such strong opposition to this development, when will this government confirm that the proposed land giveaway in public lands of public lands in the Jumbo Valley is off the table? Mr. Forest Lands and Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the, the proposal for the Jumbo Glacier Ro Resort has been a, a proposal that has gone through one of the most extensive uh, review processes in history, over 17 years of, of review. As a statutory decision maker uh, for this project, what I can inform you is that I'm doing my due diligence. I've been consulting with First Nations, with the proponents, with, with stakeholders on this issue. We will make our decision in a fair and transparent way. We continue to do the due diligence, and I want to ensure that the, uh, the members opposite that this decision will be made when it is made, will be made in a fair way, recognizing the statutory and legal responsibilities of the decision maker. The member has supplemental. Well, let's, uh, members. let's, let's talk about some of the responsibilities. Let's talk about some of the responsibilities. The proposed Jumbo Glacier Resort is in the traditional territory of the Tanaha. National Council. They have declared the valley sacred to them, and they have said clearly, clearly that they will exercise all legal options to keep this project from moving forward. It's time for the government to finally make a decision. I agree with the minister on that. Will the government put the interests of local communities and First Nations ahead of their speculator friends, and will they finally put a halt to Jumbo Glacier Resort? Jobs, Tourism and Innovation. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, on a day of celebration, on a day when $8 billion worth of shipbuilding contracts people in the province of British Columbia are going to be employed in high-paying, family-supporting jobs, Mr. Speaker. What do we hear from the members opposite? They're against fish farming. They're against ski resorts. They're negative. They're destructive. They're pessimistic. They should be out there, Mr. Speaker, celebrating the great news we had yesterday, not going on with the constant destructive approaches that we've seen here today. 